Hey everybody, time for some more module two notes, a little bit of extra practice. For this particular lesson, I want to do what I hope is a pretty simple, straightforward problem. It's not even a full word problem, but it requires you to really understand how division and multiplication go together. It's going to ask that you kind of think backwards a little bit. So again, sticking with our theme of thinking algebraically. Let me go ahead and write it down for you. Again, it's just two sentences. A number, we don't know what the number is yet. A number divided by 40. So something divided by 40 has a quotient. So quotient, our answer in a division problem has a quotient of 6 with a remainder with a remainder of 16 so some mystery number divided by 40 has a quotient of 6 with a remainder of 16 find the number find the number now, if you're already comfortable using multiplication to check your division problems, this may seem pretty easy, but I want to make sure that it makes sense and is clear for everybody. Okay. So a number divided by 40 has a quotient of 6 with a remainder of 16. We're going to start by taking that and translating into a number sentence. So a number. Oh, I don't know what the number is. So I'm just going to use this empty box. Well, I guess it's not really empty. It has a mystery number inside, but we'll figure out what that is in a minute. Okay. As you get older, we'll talk more about variables. You'll use those, but for right now, we'll use the box, some number. Okay. I don't know what number's in the box. So I'll be scribbling on the box, Mr. Laundry. A number divided by 40 has a quotient. So that means it equals this divided by 40 equals 6 with a remainder of 16. Hmm. So what are we going to do with this? Okay. We're going to start by temporarily, just for a moment, ignoring the remainder. We're going to have to deal with that in a bit, but we can ignore it for a few minutes. Something divided by 40 equals 6. Working backwards, I can use multiplication to determine what this is. Now, I'm not going to write it in the box, you'll see, but for right now, something divided by 40 equals 6. Okay, so I'm going to work backwards, 6 times 40. Put my little thought bubble, 6 times 40. Now, if you remember what we have done, I'm not sure I left myself enough space with my thought bubble there, but if you remember what we've done, multiplying numbers that end in zero, multiples of 10, 6 times 4 is just 24, and we'll put the zero after it. Thought bubble probably doesn't have to be that perfect, but we know how I am. So, if the remainder were not here, 240 divided by 40 would equal 6, because 6 times 40 is 240. But that's not my answer. That's not my final number because of the remainder. Okay. This remainder means we've got 16 left over. I tried to break something into 40 groups. I put 6 in each group, but then I had 16 left over. I am going to take that remainder and add it to this. Something divided by 40 equals 6 remainder 16. Now 240 divided by 40 would be exactly 6, but I've got 16 left over. I've got 16 more. So really my mystery number should be 256. 240 plus 16. 0 plus 6 is 6, 4 plus 1 is 5, 
Okay. But are we correct? No, we should be, but we can test it. Let's do a little bit of division to make sure. 256 divided by 40. We're saying 256 is our number. And if it is, we should be able to divide it by 40, get a quotient of 6, and a remainder of 16. So we're going to test that and see if it's true. Does 40 go into 2? No. Will it go into 25? No. So, no thank you. It will go into 256. Normally, this is where I'd say I'm not sure how many times. We have to test it. We'll guess and check. But I have a pretty good idea this time. Again, if I did this correctly, the quotient should be 6. So, I'll put 6 there. Now again, I am going to test it here to see if that's correct. 6 times 0 is 0. So far, so good. 6 times 4, 24. All right, this is looking kind of familiar. Subtract this out. 256 minus 240. 6 minus 0 is 6. 5 minus 4 is 1. So we have a remainder of 16. 256 is our answer. All right. Now, I'm going to give you one to practice on your own. So we'll kind of scoop down a little bit. A number divided by 16. Some number divided by 16 has a quotient of 5 with a remainder of 11. A number divided by 16 has a quotient of 5, so an answer of 5, with a remainder of 11. Find the number. Find the number. I'm going to get you started, but I'm going to let you work this out on your own. We'll start it just like we did the one up above. A number, I don't know what the number is yet, so I'll just put a box. Okay. A number, mystery number, divided by 16 equals, has a quotient of, equals 5 with a remainder of 11. Hmm. Remember what we did up above? How we temporarily ignored the remainder. We did some multiplication. Then we put the remainder back and finally checked with division. That's what you're going to do to solve this item. Please make sure that you solve carefully. Put a box around your answer once you've checked it and you know it's right. And include it in the comments in the Google Classroom activity. You folks have this. Go ahead and take care of business. If you have any questions, let me know. We'll talk about it more in class. But for now, that's all. Thanks, everybody.